So you just finished watching a tutorial on YouTube on how to make a website. You spent all that time and effort making your beautiful website and now you're scratching your head thinking, is that all there is to it? Well, not really. You'd be very surprised. There are several things that you need to do after you make your website and also plugins that you should add to your website to make sure that your visitors have a good experience to help you with conversions and sales. There are many factors like website speed, SEO optimization, and even legal protection. So in this video, I'll give you guys 12 important things to do after you make your WordPress website. And before I begin, if you guys do need help with website inspiration, because I'm sure your first website is going to look amazing, we offer tons of amazing templates that you can easily import on your website with one click. So let's get started. First up, hey, optimize the basic listen. WordPress settings. This includes setting your permalink structure to something SEO friendly like post name and making sure your site title and tagline accurately represent your websites. So this simple step makes a world of difference for both visitors and also for these search engines. Next, install and configure an hey, SEO plugin. Listen. Speaking of SEO, don't forget to install configure an SEO plugin like Yoast or Rank Math. This will help you optimize your WordPress website for search engines right from your WordPress dashboard. SEO plugins have come a long way and they are packed with tons of optimization tools that can help you generate things like sitemaps and also adding schema markup so you can have beautiful rich snippets in the Google search results. It is crucial to have an SEO plugin installed on your websites. This way you guys can work on on-page optimization and also display your website how you want in the Google search results. Fully optimize your pages and posts for the search results. Don't just stop at installing an SEO plugin. Go through each of your web pages and optimize them for relevant keywords. Use your SEO's plugin recommendation as a guide. By inserting keywords in the meta description for your pages and posts, you can help your website rank higher in the Google search results. A well-optimized website will always rank higher than a website that is not optimized. Now, if you guys do need help with SEO, I have a video on Yoast, Rank Math, and the all-in-one SEO plugin, and I will leave those tutorials in the description below of this video. Optimize website speed with a free plugin. Now let's talk about speed. Plugins have drastically evolved since back in the day. Today, you can install a plugin and optimize all aspects of your WordPress website with one click. I personally use the Stephanie Accelerator plugin. By simply installing this plugin, you can instantly make your website receive a 90 plus PageSpeed score on the Google PageSpeed Insights. These plugins compress and cache your files to reduce load times, making sure visitors have a good experience on your websites. So let's be real. No one likes a slow website. I hate slow websites. In fact, if your website takes longer than three seconds to load, 60% of visitors on average will leave your websites. So make sure your website's fast. Next, install a security hey. plugin. Listen. Your website security is crucial. Install a security plugin like WordFence or Securi to protect your website from hacks and malware. Security plugins can also monitor uploads to make sure you don't add any files with scripts that can take over your WordPress websites or steal your passwords. Just do it, get a security plugin. So there's not much to be said here. Better safe than sorry, right? Next, submit your website to the Google Search Console and Bing. This ensures that search engines will index your website and helps you monitor your website's performance. It also tells search engines your website is alive and ready to be indexed for all major search engines. This is basically like setting your website's birth announcement to the digital world. Once you do this, you're on the radar and you're ready to join the ranks of the internet. Next, integrate Google Analytics. Integrate Google Analytics within your WordPress dashboard using a plugin like the Google Site Kit plugin. This way, you can see all the important metrics like traffic coming to your websites and also how many impressions you are receiving in the Google search results. The Google Site Kit plugin is a great plugin to add to your website. It allows you to integrate Google Analytics. You can also integrate Google Search Console and you can even integrate Google AdSense directly from your WordPress dashboard. I personally use it on my WordPress website and it has worked wonders. Next up, add an email capture form. Email marketing is far from dead and is the leading factor in order to gain customers and sales for your business. Use a plugin like MailChimp for WordPress or Optin Monster. Stay connected with your audience by sending them newsletters and updates. It's a great way to make sales and passive income. Block spam with Jetpack. Nobody likes spam. Use Jetpack to block spam comments and maintain the integrity of your websites. With WordPress, you'll come to find mountains of spam from people who want to sell you get rich quick schemes, Viagra pills, or even people who want to give you millions of dollars for no reason. So protect yourself with a plugin like Jetpack or even CleanTalk. These plugins will filter spam and even block organizations known for spam. 
When I first started using WordPress, I thought my website was getting tons of traffic because I had tons and tons of comments. It turns out most of those comments were spam and leaving links to a lot of really shady websites. So I wasn't as popular as I was hoping, right? So make sure that you guys have a plugin to prevent spam. Create social platforms and link them to your websites. If you haven't already, create social media profiles for your brand and link them directly to your websites. In today's SEO, social profiles send social signals to Google, which helps your website rank and is also more of a journal to let users know your website is alive and kicking. As we all know, social media is a powerful tool for driving traffic and engagement. So make sure to add those. Next, add a terms and conditions and also a privacy policy page. Everyone wants to sue everyone today. Make sure you're always well protected. This will help prevent lawsuits and also let users know your terms so there is less confusion when there is an incident or a problem. There are a few websites where you can create a free terms of service and privacy policy page, and I will link those in the description of this video. Always make sure to cover your bases and be transparent with your users. Next, add a cookie notice or a GDPR notice. Make sure to add a cookie notice or a GDPR notice to comply with privacy regulations. If you use cookies to collect data from your website visitors, then you must have a cookie policy in place. If your website has visitors from the EU or the UK, you are required to have a cookie banner to comply with GDPR. GDPR requires a website to only collect personal data from users after they give explicit consent to the specific purpose of its use. Compliance is key, especially when it comes to user data. And lastly, make sure your website is accessible. In recent years, businesses from small brands to large corporations have been subject to an increase of 300% in accessibility lawsuits, paying an average of $25,000 in court settlements. You can protect yourself by installing a plugin like Accessibility. Accessibility is a web accessibility plugin solution that allows people with disabilities to browse websites with ease. It uses AI and machine learning to provide a fully automated solution for making sites accessible. To implement Accessibility, you can simply install Accessibility plugin on your website. Making your website accessible is an ongoing process, but it's a worthwhile investment. Not only does it widen your audience, but it also leads to a better user experience for everyone on your website. All right, party people. Now you guys are armed with all the tools and knowledge to make your website a roaring success. Make sure to follow each of these steps to make sure that your beautiful website is found in the Google search results. Also, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and let me know if it helped you guys out with your WordPress journey. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.